Many motorists are not too happy with the seeming laxity in the implementation of the supposed ban on e-trikes and e-bikes operating on major thoroughfares in Metro Manila. The ban on e-trikes, e-bikes and similar vehicles from national roads in Metro Manila has officially begun. However, the president has instructed the MMDA and local government units in the national capital region not to begin ticketing and penalizing those who violate the ban. Uh, yung sa e-trike at e-bikes po, ngayon pong araw na ito ang simula ng implementasyon. Pero hindi pa po kami magtitiket, maninita lamang po kami. Ito po ay um, part ng information campaign one and in consideration po na may tigil pa sa atin. Pero hindi po ibig sabihin na pwede kayong lumahan pa rin. Pawal na rin po kayo, it's just that hindi po kami magtitiket at paalisin lamang po kayo. At yan pong information dissemination na yan ay tatagal hanggang bukas. The president himself in a post on X explained that during the grace period, e-trikes will not be ticketed, fined or impounded for violating the supposed ban on major thoroughfares of Metro Manila. He said that those who violate the ban would be informed about the thoroughfares they can use and that the ban is meant to maintain order and safety on the streets of the metropolis. The grace period is supposed to last for at least a month. The ban covers Ross Boulevard, Taft Avenue, South Luzon Expressway, Shaw Boulevard, Ortigas Avenue, Magsaysay Boulevard and Aurora Boulevard, Quezon Avenue and Commonwealth Avenue, A. Bonifacio Avenue, Rizal Avenue, Del Pan, Marcos Highway, MacArthur Highway, Recto Avenue, President Quirino Avenue, Araneta Avenue, Edsa, Katipunan and C.P. Garcia Avenue, Southeast Metro Manila Expressway, Elliptical Road, Mindanao Avenue, Marcos Highway, Bonnie Avenue and Espana Boulevard. Aside from e-trikes and e-bikes, the ban includes light electric vehicles including electric kick scooters, electric bicycles, electric personal transport or other similar vehicles weighing less than 50 kilograms, as well as tricycles, pedicabs, kuligligs, and push carts. There seems to be a pattern with government officials talking tough about imposing painful policies and the president taking a softer populist stance. This may be confusing to many who believe the ban on e-trikes on major thoroughfares is a good thing.